those that doubted in the formidability of NUP, those that doubted in our leadership, here we are. Um, we had intended to have the communication, the full communication of the outgoing leader of opposition, the Right Honorable Matthias Mpuga, on uh, his appreciation party. But we were constrained to speak to you because we know that if we don't set record straight, it is very easy for each one of you out there, especially our detractors, to come up with their own thoughts and narratives. To you, Right Honorable Mpuga, thank you for the leadership in tough times. Thank you for the comradeship and brotherhood and the mentorship that you've given to various leaders, including myself. Thank you for the insistence and bravery to face insurmount seemingly insurmountable odds. Thank you for being a punching bag for so many people, those who matter and those who don't matter, but constantly pursuing what we promised the country. Thank you. We know you are not an angel. We don't hope for an angel in you. We know not everything went perfect your way. But for your resilience, thank you. And most importantly, for your magnanimity in leadership, for rising beyond emotion and beyond anything, that I cannot thank you enough. I want to call upon anybody out there to represent us. Whenever you meet the Right Honorable Matthias Mpuga, please, on my behalf and on behalf of the National Unity Platform, say to him, thank you. When you meet his wife, say thank you to her because being a wife to such a man that leads in trouble sometimes is not easy at school when you meet his children say thank you to them we shall forever be appreciative you all know ladies and gentlemen that by ranking our outgoing leader of opposition has performed way better than those who came before him it is our culture to give way at our prime, to give way at a time when we are the best examples so that those that come after us can aspire to achieve the kind of leadership that we are giving. So today, this is not a firing like some detractors would love to call it. It's not a demotion like some detractors would love to call it. It is a moral change. It is our belief that because we have the resourcefulness and the blessing of senior leaders, of experienced leaders and knowledgeable leaders, we want to use that to again also empower and groom younger leaders. So in our leadership, you'll find senior leaders and young leaders. I came in as a young leader myself, but because of the trust and comradeship, but most importantly, the mentorship of those that I'm even leading. That's why I am able to stand and will continue to stand. So with that, we appreciate you, Honorable Mpoga, and we shall reiterate that at every opportunity.